Back to the game though, because I'm having a darn good time. I hope that you are also having a darn good time. Game, please wake up. Uh, let's get back out there and go capture more shiny Pokemon. <clears throat> or maybe just regular Pokemon, you know. I'd be fine with those as well. I did get myself some more water. Because the throat is hurting. One last thing before we race, Jersey, I've got some great advice for you. You know, sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a frailproof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out and see who can catch the most Pokemon, Jish. I'm gonna guess with that feature, they probably added some Pokemon that only come out if you whistle. You remember where to station, right? Like when we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. Interesting. Okay. So if I whistle... Bruh, okay, Choodle's actually kind of cute. I feel bad for insulting it before. It's actually extremely cute. <laughs> Look, I'm just walking into wild Pokemon now to try to find a shiny. At this point, let's just see how many we can get, you know? Although, probably, my guess would be we're gonna get one for the whole playthrough. Like, we found one. I couldn't get away? Leave me alone. I'm not that fast. Leave me alone! My guess would be... Look, I don't want to have to kill you. We're gonna swap into my own Rookity. Uh, my guess would be that... Um, uh, I probably will never find another full odd shiny Pokemon for the rest of my time playing this game or playing Shield. But you know, you a man can dream. A young lad can dream of a world where he continually finds shiny Pokemon everywhere he goes. Obviously, we will do... <clears throat> excuse me. We will do some actual shiny hunting. Yo, but what if it's a shiny Yamper? We will do some actual shiny hunting at some point. Obviously, once I beat the game and figure out how to shiny hunt in this game, because it doesn't seem... Thankfully, I should add, it seems like they got rid of the... I almost said dumb, but that would be rude. Thankfully, it seems like they got rid of the... Uh, interesting choice in Sun and Moon to have Pokemon call for reinforcements that let you chain them like that. It seems they got rid of it. I'm assuming they might... Well, they can't take the Pokemon Let's Go model, because the Let's Go model... Yo, but what if we can get a shiny one of these boys? I wonder what they look like. I'm assuming you could get... Um, the general idea in any Pokemon game is that by chaining together multiple encounters back to back to back to back... That's the way it's always been. The more continuous encounters you can get in a row, the higher your chances of getting a shiny. My guess would be the same thing is true here. Um, but since the Pokemon walk around in the overworld, it makes it easier to figure out who you're going to battle. So my guess would be you just do this. If you want a shiny Yamper, you would fight this Yamper, and then you would wait till another one spawns, and then you'd fight the next Yamper. That's gonna, that, that'd be my guess for how shiny hunting in this game works. I could be totally wrong. By the way, that Squall, the shiny Squall that we got was not shiny in the overworld, correct? It was only shiny once we encountered it, so I guess that answers my question from, like, the very beginning of the stream. What's that Choodle doing all the way up here? I guess that answers my question. Um... Bro, I would love a shiny Rookity. I guess that answers my question, which is they do not show up in the, in the overworld, which is fine. Shouldn't expect them to. Side note, Yeti, congrats! Who's your first shiny in uh, Pokemon Go? Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. I'm trying to think of recent events that they had that would have increased spawn rates in a particular Pokemon. I'm going to guess your first shiny. It was just Halloween. You got a shiny Mistrevis. That's my guess. Mistrevis, however you'd like to pronounce it. Were you here before? I saw Sop Hop sneaking off towards the station. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna sneak past Hop, actually. Maybe I'm not. Come on, Josh, you'll never beat me to the station at that pace. 
I mean, yeah, you're like literally already there. So like, you got an Auron, dude. Auron, fun fact, was my first shiny in Pokemon Go as well. Back when I used to cheat. <laughs> I used to cheat and put myself, because I lived in, excuse me. I lived in rural, rural Missouri, AKA, um, I need a Wooloo, please. I lived in rural Missouri, AKA, there were absolutely no Pokemon stops anywhere. So I used to, back before Pokemon Go really cracked down on spoofing, you would download this app onto your phone that you could change. Seriously, Squirrelvet, you're this slow? You could download this app onto your phone that could change your GPS coordinates and allow you to move them. And I would place myself in very popular, uh, more populated destinations like Chicago or New York or California. And it was wonderful. <laughs> I used to catch Pokemon all the dang time. And then they cracked down on it and unfortunately, uh, I lost the ability to do that, which is a darn shame, but you know. I still get Pokemon every now and again, but yeah, back in that day, back in the day, I used to do that like crazy. I, I would play all the time. I'd be on my phone constantly at work. Don't tell my employer or previous employers, please. I would be on my phone playing Pokemon Go constantly instead of working, and uh, Auron was the first one I found. I like his shiny. I like the subtle shinies. Like his, basically, his belly changes colors and his eyes change from blue to red. It's a nice shiny. He's cute, but I do already have an Aggron, so I'll need to evolve. Oh, uh, that's gonna take a lot of candies as well. Yo, side quest, welcome to chat. Thank you so much for hopping in. Hopping in, get it? Our rival's name is Hop. That's his name. You saying you aren't still? No, I don't play Pokemon Go at work because we don't have anything that spawns there. If I had the ability to cheat and put myself wherever I wanted to, yeah, for sure, I would definitely still do it, 100%. No doubt in my mind, I would cheat. Now you just make memes and write fake emails during it. <laughs> well, honestly, right now, I have nothing else to do. Do I have the water starter? Uh, take a look, side quest. Second from the bottom, my son, Sobble, is doing very well. The only reason we're using this squirrel is because it's shiny. And I feel like you have to. Uh, I will not give a nickname to the cult Wooloo. Uh, I don't- I think we're gonna send it to the box. Unfortunately, we're not gonna use Wulu because I, again, did capture... I did capture the Squall Vet. So we're gonna use Squall Vet instead. Because look at it. It's beautiful and shiny. We have to use it. The animation of the shiny in this game is really good. But yeah, I kinda... I'm actually surprised. This week, I actually had stuff to do at work, which is great. I'm not gonna lie, there's been like kind of an awkward period for the last uh, week or so. Uh, like the last like two months or so. Uh, we're moving on to a new project. The boss has a new game he really wants to work on. So we're moving, okay, hello. We're moving on, can't go back to the woods. Where do I catch Blitbug? We're moving on from our other titles that I had been working on, that, we, that I've been doing marketing for pretty much since I started. And moving into a new game. So he sold off the old titles and another company is picking them up. And we're going to start work on a new console slash Steam title that I'm not allowed to talk about technically instead of those. But obviously we're very early on in the process, so I have no way of working on it. <laughs> There's nothing to market for it yet. So it's been kind of weird. They, they're kind of putting me into game design now, which is what I want to do anyway. I, I hate marketing, I'll be honest. I basically just took the job to work at a video game company so that I could learn how to make video games. And uh, so they put me in some game design stuff and that's been really fun. They're like, I don't know what I'm doing in game design obviously, so they're like starting me off with very little stuff, but I'm starting to make some headway. They, they trusted me, we have three game designers, two and then me, so really we have two game designers and me, and they're letting me come up with uh, our naming convention for all of our weapons that are going to be in the game, which is exciting. I get to, I get to theme them, which is kind of cool. Now they could shoot down my idea for certain, but it's at least cool that they're letting me, uh, stretch my wings a little bit, learn how to fly. So with the jurors, how many did you catch? I caught a really special one. I caught a really special one. And you got yourself, oh, just one. Looks like we're in a draw. There were rivals and all, so that's fair. What was I supposed to do? Catch more Pokemon than you? I got swift. 
That's a technical machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's ours. That's what you went to. I would have loved to go to school for game design. The college I went to did not offer it. So it's unfortunate. But, you know. That's rad. Are you allowed to tell us what the game is when... Oh, when it's released, for sure. When it's released, you can play it. If it's gonna be good, that's another question. <laughs> the gym challenge will begin at Motostoke, and our train's waiting, so let's go. Okay, let's go. Pikachu and Eevee. Isaac 2, I would love to create Isaac 2. My, uh, the CEO of our company hates roguelites. I've tried to talk to him many times about how much I love roguelites, and he hates them, so. Uh, unfortunately, probably no Isaac 2. Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Score Bunny as a partner, doll. That was literally today. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know you two were setting out. So here, a little, a last little gift to see you well on your way. All the kit you need for camping. Oh, we're gonna camp so much, I promise you. We're never gonna camp. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, you'll know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom, and just think how lucky you are, Mother, to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. Of course you'll be, darling, anyway. Do have fun and take care of yourself. Anyway, do have fun and- Oh, you're welcome back anytime. We'll be fine. Wish us luck, not that we need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Josh. Well, like, technically it's not, but... Come on, we're off! If it's bad, I can make a Yeti hype video. D that, honestly? Look, I hate to say it. We've been sitting down as the game designers. We're trying to make a good game. Some of our decisions... Modestoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. Some of our decisions we're not actually allowed to make. I'll get into it. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere. Look, plus you can camp out. Do a spot of fishing? I don't think I could ever get tired of it. We've basically been sitting down now with the progress we've made thus far and the direction it feels like it's going. And while we were getting lunch the other day together, all of us, all of the designers were sitting there and we're like, we can always market it as a meme game. <laughs> that's never a good way to think about something going forward, but you know, that's where we're at. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? Is what do we what do we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wulu on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant. The wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Jersh? This is the best place possible to put together the greatest team. I kind of like my team though. Hey, have you, you, have you and Eevee had a, I knew it, you've had a Let's Go experience with Eevee, haven't you? I hope you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Eevee too. Bruh. You received Eevee. Eevee's data has been added to the Pokedex, the evolution Pokemon. It has the ability to alter the composition of its body to suit the surrounding environment. I would not like to give Eevee a nickname. I will not add Eevee to the box, I'm sorry. You got ideas, send them your way. Believe me, the, the problem is not a lack of ideas. The problem is the lack of acceptingness to new ideas, if that makes sense. You never, I've gotten into do it before. I'm not trying to, I don't want to use my streams as a work vent session, but let's just say that I'm not in charge of making the decisions for the game and the person who is thinks they're very smart. And thinks their decisions are very good. <laughs> the Eve I gave you is special, you know, you should definitely Dynamax it. Hey, you and Pikachu had a... Oh, I've never played Let's Go Pikachu, so apparently I don't get a free Pikachu. Garbage. You'll run into stronger Pokemon and farther you go into the wild area. I feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poke Doll. I literally am just giving everybody a British accent. It's not great for the voice. 
No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you join the gym challenge and gather gym badges. This also is, in, I'm trying to like maintain looking at the camera while my screen's over there. It's not great for the neck. Welcome to the Pokemart, we're flying. What is this, a bank? What station do you wanna to go to? We're fine here. Find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke. Okay, okay, I can do that. I'm very excited for this. I have heard this area is dope as heck. It's most people's favorite part of the game, so let's see why it's so cool. Hello. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Leave me alone. I want challenge in my games, this is too easy. I can make a video making fun of all the- Oh no, I just realized. Hey guys, welcome to episode number three of our Pokemon Sword playthrough. We got a shiny last episode, go watch it. And I'm sorry that I- Maybe I'll cut this and put it at the beginning. I'm not gonna remember to do that, but thanks for tuning in guys, see you later. Look at that! Oh wait, Yeti was talking to me. I can make a video making fun of the bad stuff, <laughs> and then be an absolute PR storm that will send waves through the entire infrastructure of the company and hire us so I have no choice but to fix the problems. Here's the problem. Uh, fixing the problems has been happening for like the last 10 years at this company, and the solution is for him to stay and to get rid of everybody else. So, that would probably just lose me and all my coworkers our job, <laughs> unfortunately. Look up at that. Ooh. That's Motostoke way off that way. Why, how come his bag is normal sized? Why do I gotta have this massive one? And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello if it isn't Sonya. Bruh, Son... Please clip me saying bruh just then. I know it was short and fast. I think I matched the pitch and tone of the actual bruh clip to a T. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. I don't like that sentence. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey. But what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Well, you can, you know, yeah, you can you can hang out with us. Huh? That's okay, you can follow us. I'm a child. Ah, uh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. Sonya, yo, I hate to say it. There are several waifus in this game. We'll meet several of them as we go. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. I think my pupper, I, well, I'll confirm with Maria when she gets back. I think he may have just pooped on the ground because all I heard was, ew, you dummy. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that he made a mess on the ground, would be my guess, because that is what I would imagine would elicit a response of, Ew, you dummy. He can't fire absolutely everyone. See, we would think that, but there's been days where I've come into the office and the first thing that I've heard is him screaming from the other side of the office, I'll fire everyone if you don't get this done today! <coughs> Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I think it's the hair twirl, I don't know. I said you don't need to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It's been, it'll be fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. They know what they're doing. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. All of these phrases are not good. I just tried to blow a hair off my phone. <laughs> uh, that's no good. I'm gonna battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Okay. What cheek? What does that mean? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know? You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? It's not what I was thinking. A device that lets you access the Pokemon storage system. 
That's amazing. What a great feature. A feature that somehow people manage to whine about. You can use the Pokemon Box link to access your Pokemon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to your party and transfer them to your box. You can add, okay, that's awesome. With a Pokemon Box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? Hey, Maria, did, uh, did Banjo poop? I'm just going to guess he pooped. So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Yep. <laughs> well, you know, that's the worst part of him. Like, it's it's pretty cute watching him get bigger. Like, I could tell from the day we've picked him up. He's like, not doubled in size, but pretty close to it. But I've also been no rolling fields. I've also been noticing it. You found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around the wild area are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your head, try to run. Run like the wind. I'll take your jar of honey. Um, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, this is... Oh, this is where you do... I call myself a Wooloo. <laughs> this is where you do uh, internet stuff. Cool. I love me some internet stuff. Pokemon. Uh, let's put Sobble out front to be safe. Uh, as I've taken him out now, I can tell that his poops are getting bigger, which is like, it's good and bad. I'm going to guess this Pokemon is very strong. A very strong looking Onix. Okay. It's raining. 26. Yeah, we're out. We are out. Sobble, no! Um. So I'm gonna guess this is why they gave us all of those Poke Dolls. To make sure you don't accidentally run into a level 26 Onyx and just get straight up obliterated. I'm gonna guess that's why they gave it to us. Okay, well. Um, please run. Okay. I gotta say, that's pretty cool. Poke dolls are resin, that's true. In, in this house, we fight the level 26 Onyxes. Oh, dude, I have control of the camera! First time ever in a Pokemon game, bruh. Uh, I do have to say, this is pretty cool. Typically, they make sure the Pokemon in your area are only the same level as you. Wingles. We got Buneary, okay. They try to make sure they're all the same level as you so that you don't get anything fancy like that. I found a note. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, and even the PP they need to use their moves over and over. Pokemon that defend, okay, blah, 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 got it. Visit a berry tree. More Wingle. Why did the music stop? A Petra Berry fell from the tree. There's one berry on the ground, shake it more. Two Petra Berries fell from me. There's three berries on the ground. Shake it more. How many berries do I get? A Cherry Berry fell from the tree. There's four infinite berries. Three Cherry Berries. There's seven berries. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked by a non-shiny Squovet. Why? What's happening? It's level 10. Get me out of here. Okay. Can I have my berries? Other Pokemon... I got four cherry berries, that's good. Okay, so it's like a game of, um... Tyrogue? I want a Tyrogue. It's like a game of, um... There's energy trickling out of the den. I should not have skipped that, uh, text. It's kind of like a game of, um... Shake the bottle and wait till it explodes. It's a wild Tyrogue. I'd like to capture you. It's a game of shake the bottle until it explodes, but hand it to your friend before it explodes. You gotta shake... No, don't do that. You gotta shake the berry trees until you think the Pokemon's gonna attack, and then you take the berries. I get it. Please, I'm glad you didn't die there, Tyrogue. I'm gonna capture you. We're not gonna add you to the team. We are only uh, rocking new Pokemon. Only new Pokemon. Vita, welcome to the stream. Thank you. 
please be captured. Thank you so much for hopping in. I greatly appreciate it. It's been a little bit. I know you said you got a new job now, and so the 4 a.m. streams don't quite work anymore, which is honestly probably good for your for your health. <laughs> that the 4 a.m. streams no longer work. Not that I don't didn't love the support back in the day. Absolutely. Saba wants to learn water pulse. Uh, the goal is that hopefully. Screw the health you missed Sims 4. You didn't miss much with Sims 4. It took me like 40 minutes to make a character, and then I played for like 10, so. I gotta say, you, you didn't miss too much. Tyrogue's data will be added to the Pokedex. It's the fighting type. Oh, it's always bursting with energy. Okay. You did miss Sims, not just any character. It was Yeti in particular, which is nice. We got Wingles, like a lot of Wingles. I mean, I guess I should capture one, even though I don't care too much about Wingles. A character. Yeti's quite the character, am I right? Okay. A note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera. I've figured that out. Man, these notes sure are handy dandy. I guess we should get a Wingle. Like, eventually I'm gonna have to complete the Pokedex, so we may as well. Am I a joke? No, Yeti. You're not a joke. Although, for the purpose of that series, you basically are the butt of all of the jokes, so... We might bring Sims back. I haven't decided yet. People seem to enjoy it, so maybe we'll do it again. I also really like Bumbo, though. I just finished Bumbo. Not, I haven't 100 percented it, but I, I beat the full loop for the first time. And the cutscene that happened afterwards literally gave me chills. I freaking love Isaac, dude. Okay. Let's capture this Wingle. Level 9. Call me sweaty. Did you see the video of the dude pouting Mentos and Coke in that hole and then pulling a cat? I did not, but that sounds like my kind of video. I think I'd like to see it. You also did make me an evil monster, but it's fine. I didn't make you an evil monster. We took a personality quiz and answered it 100% accurately, I may add. And the game said that you were an evil monster. I didn't read the Wingle description, I'm sorry. I should have read the Wingle description. I mean, I guess I should also capture a Bunnelby. I mean, I'm not super into Bunnelby, but we're just trying to catch every Pokemon, so. It's good I beat finally beat Bumbo the Dead today. Uh, wait, you, you won as Bumbo the Dead, or you beat the Dead Boy at the end of Bumbo? Because that's what I, I just did that. I just beat the final boss. I'm sure there's secret bosses and stuff because it's Ed and McMillan and there's going to be hidden stuff everywhere. You won as Bumbo the Dead. Okay, so I have not won as Bumbo the Dead yet. I just unlocked him. And I just unlocked the everything is harder now option, so we'll see how that is. I so far have never lost a run of Bumbo. I've won, I think I'm like six for six. Squall Vet learned stuff cheeks. I think we might be keeping Squall Vet on for the entirety of this playthrough. I might have to use that move on, Never mind. <laughs> this is kid friendly content, by the way. I was gonna say Sonya. Bunnelby's day is added to the Pokedex. It excels at digging holes. Using its ears, it can dig a nest up to 33 feet deep in one night. That one night. On your way to unlocking the empty. That's... Diglett. That's next on the list for me as well. What are all these things happening on the left side of my screen? Is it just like a recap of events? You caught a Wingle. You caught a Diglett. You caught a this. I like that these are all level 10. I will say... It's cool that they drop you into this area this early. You can like build whatever team you want. The the choices seem to be pretty, like there's a lot of different types of Pokemon here. Ground types, water types, fighting types. A giant Onix if you can somehow catch a level 27, which would be probably pretty difficult, but. But yeah, Bumbo's really good. I, I think it's, it's a lot. Uh, I was a little bit nervous at first when he was like, it's a match three. A puzzly roguelite, I'm like, I didn't think it'd be that fun. It's pretty good time. The only issue that I've run into right now, and it's not even an issue, it's my issue, is um, Diglett's the mole Pokemon. If a Diglett digs through a field, it leaves the soil perfectly tilled by the overplanting crops. My only issue right now is that I, I min-max way too hard in that game. And so like a single run 
can sometimes take me up to like two hours because I just spend, and that's, granted that's, what was that sound? Bancham! I love this Pokemon. Granted, that's probably also why I've never lost. This is like one of my favorite Pokemon ever, it's so cute. That's probably why I've never lost, but it's also the reason I've only done like six runs because I, every turn I'm like, well, can I make a six? Can I make a five? Can I do this? And I can do a combo, con 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 combo breaker. And I spend way too long on that kind of stuff. So that's not a problem with the game. That's a problem with my play style of the game. So I can't even complain about the game for that reason, but. What's my favorite Bumbo? Thus far, I think, I think Bumbo the Nimble is the easiest, but I don't think he's my favorite. I think Bumbo the Weird is my favorite in terms of playstyle. But granted, I have not played as Bumbo the Dead or Bumbo the Empty, so it may change. But Bumbo the Weird is my favorite to play as in terms of playstyle. Bumbo the Weird is my wait, yeah, Bumbo the Weird is my favorite playstyle, but Bumbo the Nimble is the easiest in my opinion. Pancham is the playful Pokemon. It chooses a Pangoro as its master and then imitates its master's actions. This is how it learns to battle and hunt for prey. It's literally Kung Fu Panda. This Pokemon's amazing. Pancham, you're awesome. Okay, so we're supposed to do a raid battle. Is my understanding. How do I get this stuff off the left side of the screen? Energy is pouring out of the den. I gained 300 watts. Max Raid Battles. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon, you'll get a chance to catch it. Additionally, there are some rare items you can only obtain by Dynamax Pokemon. When the wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Work with other trainers to beat them. It's a Hoot Hoot? No thanks. We're going to see what other options we have. I'm going to get some berries as well. Yes, please. Me too, weird is super fun, you can combo in- See, and that's what I do, like, I think I like him the most because he's the most min-maxy. Okay, so do I get the berries if I quit? Yes, okay. He's the most min-maxy because you can, like you said, Tyro. You can kind of just like chain together near infinite combos with him. The Dappled Grove. Oddish. You can chain together near infinite combos with him because he gets movement upon killing so if you do things right yeah you can just you I, like with him i typically it takes a while but i can typically find a way to beat the entire room in one turn and that's why i like it that's not enough damage and you're level 14. that's a problem i think we may be a little under leveled for this section so that's probably why there are nuzleaf here instead of c dot we're a little out of our... A fancy apple, one of the... Okay. I think we're a little out of our weight class here, so... A tiny mushroom. Okay, these are all nice. These are all good to have. A big mushroom, sure. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch any Pokemon here. Did I have an antidote? I don't think I did. There's like no Pokemon at this point in the game that could have... Um... Yeah, I don't have a... I got a Petra Berry though. I don't have a Petra Berry, I got Person Berry. Okay, we're gonna need a Petra Berry, cause Sobble's gonna die. I don't want that. Ooh, nice, the wild area. Dude, This the wild area is super cool so far. We obviously just got here, but uh, I like that you can encounter Pokemon that are way above your level. That seems really cool. Although I guess that could kind of be super broken if you just like, like if we would've just captured that level 26 Onix, we basically just win. Although I guess it wouldn't obey me, so. That's what I need. That's what I want. I need a Petra Berry. Thank you so much, Berry Tree. The D10 is OP on the final floor. Oh, because you can make all the really tough enemies into flies. No, 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 no surprise trades. No surprise trades. No, 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 no surprise trades. I mean, we could do a surprise trade. I don't want spoilers. I don't want spoilers. We're not going to do a surprise trade. <coughs> Although it'd be kind of funny. Um... What I want to do instead is use a Petra Berry to heal the poison on Sobble. Okay, we need to do a raid. You've seen that I can get apples there. I need those for a certain Mon. I think I know the Mon you're talking about, and I'm going to add him to my team so quickly. So what would you like to do? I'd like to spend my Watts. Luxury Ball, a Wishing Piece. Metronome. 
What the heck? They sell TMs? Trick or a sphere? I can't afford that, obviously, but that's pretty sick. Give me some more berries. Why not? Bruh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time in the wild area. Alright, give me the Petra Berries. I'm gonna spend a lot of time here, I can already tell. Like, when I'm not, uh... Maybe we should just focus on... Yeah, I think I am. Let's just focus during the playthrough, like, while I'm playing on Twitch. Let's just focus on getting through the game. Like, kind of mainlining the main story. And then I think... When I'm playing off-stream, because I'm gonna wanna... I'm not gonna stream for, like, a... Too close. I'm not going to stream for like a thousand hours in a row, obviously. I'm going to have to get off at some point. But I'm still going to want to play. So I think what I'll do is just hang out in the wild area. Pelipper, hello. I think I'll just hang out in the wild area during that time, so. Uh, what I will say is... Um, what I will say is... Uh, I feel like the wild area... I don't know if you guys play Pokemon Go. Why is that one pink? I feel like the wild area could... I feel like they could apply what they do in Pokemon Go to the wild area. Now, I know not every Pokemon is in the game and people are upset about that. Not every Sprite is in the game and people are upset about that. But I feel like... This man shredded. Love to cook. Okay. I feel like... They could do what they do in Pokemon Go, which is sometimes they have themed events and they say, Hey, it's Halloween. So we're going to make ghost-type Pokemon appear more often. I feel like they could do the same thing here in the wild area and be like, Hey guys, for the month of January, we're going to have these Pokemon appear. Come get these Pokemon in the wild area if you want them. What the heck is that one pink for? Is this a Joltik? I want a Joltik really bad, but I also want to go check what this pink one is. So I'm going to check that first, and then we're going to come back and do the Joltik one. What is going on here? What is this? Why is he, is a, it's a, it's a fairy type. I don't know what that is. What fairy type is that? Invite others. Okay. Let's, let's do one. I... Is it just gonna give me people automatically? Because I don't know if I can do this by myself. I've never done this before. It's a one star, so it should be easy enough. It's a Togepi? I don't know why it's got the aura around it. Is it shiny? Bro, I'll take a shiny Pokemon. It invites others. Okay, cool. Let's hope I can find some friends. Is there a new EV Evo or the same? I think it's the same. I think it is, I, I do not think there are any new evolutions in this game, which is kind of sad, but you know, that's fine. How long does it usually take to find a partner, by the way? I do live in Missouri, so there probably aren't that many people playing near me. It says like, it said it was communicating nearby, right? Like it's looking for nearby players. There might not be any nearby players. Dunno, haven't done one yet. I'm just gonna say that I'm ready to battle. Let's see what happens. I'll give it 30 more seconds. If nobody hops in in 30 more seconds, then we're just gonna go. You have to turn on internet connection? Is it not? It should be on. Unless it's a separate setting in the menu. I don't know, let's start a battle. You don't have four trainers, we'll find some- Oh! Fantastic, okay, yeah. Find some for me, okay. That works. Okay, so this fairy-type Pokemon, I think you're right, it's probably gonna be a big Togepi. It's a big old Togepi. Togepi appeared. Okay. Go Sobble. Let's see what this raid battle is all about. It's Dynamax. Dynamax energy around me. Yes, okay. This man- You brought a Wobbuffet? What are you doing? I'm gonna Dynamax. I get to Dynamax. Max Geyser. To the Togepi. Oh, bruh. It's big Sobble time. It's big Chungus Sobble. Big 
My big sad boy! He's so large! <laughs> He's such a large boy! Look at his big old head! Okay. Really, you're gonna go for Feather Dance? I'm gonna guess these are AI. Max Geyser. This may just murder you. Just kill him in one hit. That's nothing! I, I did make it rain, though. Pikachu going for Iron Tail. That's actually super effective. I'll give you some credit there. And let me guess, Wobbuffet? Don't hit me, please. Go for the Pikachu. Oh, no. Now, you only get the Dynamax for three turns, right? Wobbuffet used Amnesia. Why would you... Why would you even put that in the pool of available Pokemon? I'm gonna go for another Max Geyser on the Toga piece. Togepi goes for Pound? Why would you murder that Pikachu? Please send in another Pokemon. The storm raging above you is growing stronger. Alucha goes for Wing Attack. Okay, okay. I think, what did it say? Defeat him in 10 turns or less? I'm not convinced that that's gonna happen anymore if we just lost that, to if we just lost that Pikachu. Because the Pikachu... The Pikachu actually did damage. Could you target the, uh, could you target the Wobbuffet next? Any chance you could go for the Wobbuffet next? What are you doing? Nullified stat changes and abilities and goes for Yawn. I'm drowsy. Well, that's a problem. Um, because I'm, like, the only one doing any damage, so... We'll see how this goes. This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're close. Wobbuffet, if you could just... Wobbuffet, if you could... Wob... Wobbuffet... Wobba, Wobba, Wobbuffet. And I'm no longer Dynamaxed. And I'm gonna be asleep next turn, so this is bad. Oh, but you get to Dynamax now. Oh, your Pokemon recovered from fainting. Okay. Magic, I like that. Please go for Iron Tail. Uh, we'll go for Water Pulse. And, uh, we'll continue. I think we can take you out this turn. Here comes the Water Pulse. Oh, goodbye. Farewell until we meet again. So now I get the Togepi. Togepi's weak. Throw a Pokeball. Catch. That's cool. I'm just, it's just like, is it guaranteed catch? Just a guaranteed insta-catch? That's a big Pokeball. I think it's just a guaranteed insta-catch. Maybe? Yo, this is hype. This is hype. Even if that's just a guaranteed capture, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Remember when people were whining about this freaking game for like 30 years on twi Twitter? This is a good- is, I'm having a good time. I got a TM for Dazzling Gleam! Some candies, some berries, some experience candies. I'm having fun. Togepi's day to add to the party. I mean, to the Pokedex. Spike Ball Pokemon, Fairy type. Shell seems to be filled with joy. It is said that it will share good luck when treated kindly. No nickname for Togepi. Send a box. I think I'm actually going to turn off the nickname option since I know I'm not going to nickname them. Okay. And a raid has been defeated. That's super cool. Um, please get me out of here. Take me to the options menu and let me give nicknames don't give and uh no not send the boxes automatically because i may actually want to put a mod on my team okay let's do one more there's so many to do holy cow i'm assuming these are time based like after you do one maybe like 30 minutes later another one pops up i'm gonna do oh wait don't invite others i'm ready to battle Start battle. I don't have four trainers. You'll help me out. Thank you. I love Joltik, so I just want to do this one real fast just to get a Joltik on the team. Because I'm assuming there's some Pokemon you can only capture through these max raid battles. He's still tiny. Because Joltik is usually so small. Even his Dynamax is, is still tiny. I mean, he's big. Don't get me wrong. But he's tiny. I like him. Okay. Bro, this is filling me with some Dynamax. This is filling me with some childlike wonder, I have to say. <laughs> this is pretty cool. 
in the trailers when they showed it, I was like, it's a little gimmicky, and it seems like lame Mega Evolution. Like, I was like, it's not even... They don't even change at all, they just get bigger. It's kinda cool. It's kinda, it's kinda cool to be fighting with- Look how tiny he is! It's kinda cool to be fighting with massive Pokemon. And we actually have some decent- Oh, nope, just kidding, we have another Wobbuffet. <laughs> Why are you- No! Oh, you can kill the Mudbray, that's fine. He survived that somehow. Focus Sash? Focus Sash Mudbray. The grassy terrain? That's insane. Okay, so these moves... The max raid Pokemon, when they use moves, like, stuff happens. That's some good damage. That's, like... I think when we do it, it starts to rain. Bruh. Competitive is gonna be interesting as heck. Rock Tomb is great. Competitive is going to be very, very interesting. Wobbuffet goes for counting. No one's hitting you, Wobbuffet. We know you're worthless. Um, competitive is gonna be... It's gonna be like 3rd gen or 4th gen all over again. I feel like it's gonna be super weather based. If, the, if Dynamax Pokemon can set weather... Like, if you can set up a rain... I critted! If you can set up a rain team just by using... A water type move... I'm assuming you can do similar things with different... Like... I'm assuming... You can do... If you use a fire type move, I'm assuming the sun's gonna get really bright. If you use a ground type move, I'm assuming the sandstorm's gonna start. Ice is gonna start a hailstorm. Like... I'm assuming... But if that's a thing... That's gonna be ridiculous. It'll be different due to Dynamax. I mean, that's gonna be nuts too, just from having a ridiculously strong Pokemon for three turns. Joltip was caught. But if they can set weather too, although I guess the other trainer could just change the weather right back after you, so if they Dynamax, we call it Joltik. That's wonderful. Joltik stayed added in Pokedex. Bug Electric, the attaching Pokemon. I think this is my favorite bug type. Ever. Joltik can be found clinging to other Pokemon, or maybe Galvantula. It's soaking up static electricity because it can't produce a charge on its own. Joltik, if we didn't already have a Yamper, where do you want to send Joltik to? Wait. Send the box. I'm confused. We turn. Oh, I didn't save the option. Hold on. I didn't, uh... I didn't save the option. We turned... We're never going to give a Pokemon a nickname. So I turned give nicknames off, but I did not save the settings. Okay. You just got a 0.25% deal with the devil chance. That's extremely low and I'm very proud of you. I want you. I want you. What do we have here? At the very least, I'll collect the Watts. Normal flying? That's like a Piddub or something? Ew. Why are you in the game? No offense. But like, considering not every Pokemon made it, I definitely am going to be doing that a lot. I'm, I'm going to be seeing Pokemon and being like, you made the cut? You made the cut? But I heard a Stuffle. I did hear a Stuffle. But just as equally, I'm probably going to see Pokemon and be like, I'm glad you made the cut. Natu is not one of those Pokemon. <laughs> okay, let's just go to the next area because I think that's where we're... I think this is where we're supposed to go. There's Zatu, there's Stuffle. There's more Pancham. This is cool. This is cool. Uh, there's a lot to do here. I'm gonna have a really good time with this game, I can already tell you. Kind of works like that, just ran into it. Mm, I can fish. I don't think I want it. Okay, I'll, I'll explore this later. There's a lot to explore here, but we got a town to get to. The wild, okay, uh, yes, you can get Watts. It's like an in-game currency. Okay, pay to win, of course, yes. Isn't this where I was supposed to go? Or was I supposed to go somewhere else? Nope, this is where I'm supposed to go. To Moto Stoke City. Here we are. Bruh, this is the city from the trailer. The very first one. Okay, all right. Soundtrack sounding kind of clean. Not my favorite track in the game, but it's pretty good. Tomato Stonk. 
Held message for reason sexual. It just says tomato stonk sit. That's perfectly fine in my chat. I don't even know what it means unless I did just say something odd. Look at that choodle. Now that's marketing. Minchi. Minchino likes things nice and tidy. Stoke poggers? What's a stoke? Is that a is that a soccer term? Here in the Gala region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. This city is just massive. I gotta keep checking my town map. How do I check the town map, by the way? Sit. <laughs> Permitted term sit. Hey, over here. Oh, that choodle's pretty cute. We still have a choodle on our team. I gotta catch something else. Oh, Stoke is an hour south of Manchester. A real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like you trek, your trek ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop in the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Looks pretty normal to me. Oh, looks like the Rotami's free. Rotami are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Jersh? Here's a sample for you. Leon's league card, okay. It's like a baseball card? League cards. You can show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with your latest information. His is so angsty. Trainers all have their own league cards and you can swap cards with other trainers that you connect with using communication features. You can view all the league cards you've collected by checking out your album, which you can find in the league card option of the X-Men. But Mudstoke sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. I will. I'm concerned about the things in your hair. I don't know what they are. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think of how exciting it was moving to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. The neck is going to be real sore after this stream. I can already tell you. Okay, let's stonk. Let's do the league card. Hello. Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Let me use card maker, please. Mm, my gosh. Make a new league card. Background. Why would I put another man on my card? This is my card. This is my card. And I'm gonna put... I mean, probably the flannel. The flannel makes the most sense for me. Just auto... Uh, yeah, it says CIT was the term it grabbed. So, we're gonna go with the flannel because it's me. Effect. Bubbles, shine. Holographic. Rare foiled card. We're going holographic. Frame. I don't like the frame. I'm going frameless, boys. Next step. It's selfie mode. That's what that, that that's what I was thinking too, Yeti, but I was like, it's missing an L. Nightbot can't spell. Okay. Should we just straight up zoom? How do I move and rotate? Okay, move, R to change, this seems pretty good to me. Change expression. <laughs> Bruh. He mad. You can do so many. I kinda like this one. He looks horrified. The baby eyes? He, bruh. He furious. I like this one. Let's do this one. Allow me to... That's This seems like a pretty good trainer card. I would collect this, right? Oh, wait. I would collect this trainer card. <laughs> Clear coating. Matte coating. Give me the holographic, bruh. Print it. This is kind of cool. It's just a horoscope thing, you're right. Choose the reprint option if you'd like to do is get the latest info on your current card. Where's my card at? Where's my card at? 
Trainer card. Album. It's mine! Okay, Leon's is pretty good. Mine is also pretty good. I don't know about you, but that's a pretty solid trainer card. Okay, let's continue. Hello. Uh, what is that Pokemon back there? Weaken a Pokemon before you catch it. Rotom make cards. You got, oh, you're the move remember, forgetter, etc. I don't think we need to buy stuff yet. Where to buy? You sell special Pokeballs, which is cool. Where do I catch that bug type that we found early on? I want to catch the bug type. Um, we could probably take some Pokeballs. Give me like 20. We're going to use them, so might as well. Okay, you can buy revives this early? That's insanity. It's a little, it's, no offense, Pokemon, literally for that. We don't need the revives yet. Okay. Three items literally just hidden everywhere. Did they get rid of the Pokeballs in the overworld? No, we've collected some. It's weird that they would add another type of collectible. Maybe those respawn, like time-based, but the Pokeballs you can only pick up one of. Motostoke is something else. What other city has a lift to take you between the upper and lower districts? Uh, have you ever played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? When you're on Terrace, I think Terran, Terrace, you can take a lift from the upper and lower districts. So brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area, do you remember what your goal in Motostoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yup, the gym challenge opening ceremony. Very cool, Kanye. Where is that? Also, can I buy more clothes now? By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostoke Stadium, okay? Okay. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? <laughs> okay, this song actually slaps. Well, laters, I'm gonna swing by the shop while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? I just might. Oh, we can get a haircut! <clears throat> if I get a haircut, I'd like to take off my hat. Anything over here? Probably. What do you got over here for me? You gotta throw Pokeballs. Throw them over there and you get your pitching technique sorted. Okay. I'll take the Pokeball in the trash can. Leon throws his Pokeballs with so much energy. I wonder if the Pokemon inside get dizzy. Is that something you can actually do in this game? Is change the way you throw a Pokeball? I think you can do that in Sun and Moon. You love flower Pokemon. It's Maria. I always bring flowers home on special days or even normal days. My Pokemon loves flowers. Okay. Haircut. All right, I'm down for haircuts. Let's do one. Hello. This is literally just the same salon as Pokemon Sun and Moon. How dare they re? Uh, how dare they reuse this? Welcome. Lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? I'd like a haircut for 3,000 coins. Have you sit in the chair? I'll take your bag and things too. We're gonna rob you blinds. Now then, what kind of style did you want today? Short style. Caesar cut. Medium and wavy. Braids. Side part. That's probably me. That's probably the most me. Undercut. It's pretty styling. Bowl cut. Long hair, don't care. I'm thinking we're side part. That feels like me. And honestly, dark brown is pretty much, we're pretty much already there. Ash brown, caramel blonde, platinum blonde, pink brown, white, green, blue. We can go nutso. I look like the dude, your rival in the first game. Just stick with dark brown. And confirm. 3,000 bucks for this haircut, but you know what? <laughs> We'll be rolling in dough before you know it, so it's not even that big a deal. All done. It's me. It literally me. Thank you for your patience. You look fresher than a mint. Would you like to put your hat back on? Leave the hat off. Mm-hmm. We don't need it. Show off that new do. Do I want to reprint my lead card? Yes. That's pretty easy. So this now I just don't have a hat on it? Hold on. Now I just don't have a hat? Magical. <laughs> Actually magical. And you have clothes, okay. Give me some new clothes. Well, I need some new pants. What kind of pants you got? I would also like to talk to everybody because you never know in this game, you never know when someone might just give you, it's Sonya. You never know when someone might just give you a gift Pokemon. My grand told me I need to go on journey, but a girl needs a bit of joy in her life too. Are you here to do some shopping as well? Don't forget to register at the stadium. 
Okay, well, I am here for some shopping. Iconic style sports sweatshirt. Get rid of that nerd back. This nerd back, this backpack is awful. Polywag loose top, Lux Ray Holiday, Sea Urchin. That looks like a butt, those look like butt cheeks. Three-fourths polo, you can't wear a polo underneath a hoodie, so don't worry about that. We're fine. Track suit challenger, hoodie, gray greed. What's on the back? Is that a squirrel? My squirrel boy? The champ. What's on the back? Oh, it's literally the champion, gross. Sunset City. That's kind of a styling hoodie. It's not that much different from the current hoodie though. Like, it's just the current hoodie with a couple extra patches. Varsity jackets. Red, blue, kind of clean, but $17,000, so no. Trainer bottoms, that's not bad. Designer denim, that's the same pants I have. It's $11,000. Plaid trousers, $8,000. Okay, we ain't getting new pants. Sorry, boys and girls. These socks are expensive. You can't charge this. Chucka boots? It's $18,000 for shoes? Sports travel bag challenger kit. Played travel bag cream and green. It's better. It's still massive. I do like plaid though. Hmm. Some sweet sunnies. I think I'm good where we are. I think we're going to stick with the nerd backpack. Even though I don't want to spend $11,000. That's a lot of money for a backpack. I'm all about the deals. If I can find it on, let me see if I can find a similar one on Wayfair. <laughs> You're a Pokemon trainer. Let me give you something. Try using it on your Pokemon. TR13? Is that a typo? The user spent, takes it, okay. TRs are vintage. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves, but they break after one use. They've got TMs and TRs. That's hilarious. They brought back old TMs without bringing back old TMs. I see you're working on a Pokedex. You meet a lot of different Pokemon if you head in the wild area. Sure, I will. What is this, a coffee shop? It is a coffee shop. That's a Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot enjoys bitter flavors just fine. I've got more of it. I also have a sweet tooth. You've seen Leon's cape, right? Those sponsor logos are pretty impressive, but that's what I said. Will you marry me? I think we're meant to be. Is it? It's a creamy boy. Today's coffee, something special. Pokemon did a good job. Okay, Growlithe is in the game. That's all I needed to know. My friend, he's just obsessed with Mr. Kabu. He even collects Mr. Kabu's league cards. Jim Leader Kabu is amazing. I'm very happy that Growlithe is in the game. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? 